There was a sad young man by the name of Phil who was walking the streets of Liverpool. He'd recently lost his fiance, the love of his life, to cancer. And he had decided that he could no longer live without her. And so he took it upon himself to jump from the boundary wall of the cathedral, the very same place where he had in fact proposed to his beloved. As he ascended the icy steps, he took out a small picture of his late lover. He climbed onto the boundary walls and he prepared to jump. But just as he closed his eyes, a voice behind him shouted, Stop! <laughs> Phil turned and he saw a scruffy old man who he presumed must be a trap. The old man told him that what he was doing was cowardice. Phil protested. He asked the old man to leave. But the tramp wouldn't go. Instead he said to him, What happens if you jump and you fall and you hit the ground but you don't die straight away? What happens if you're lying there with your brains and your guts splattered everywhere with your blood slowly beginning to spread and form a great puddle around you and all of a sudden you start panicking and think, I've done the wrong thing. Now what happens, my lad, if you're lying there in agony, hoping and praying this is all a terribly bad dream, and that you wake up, but you realise that it's not, that you're going to die, here, alone, tonight, and you can't go back. Have you thought about all of that? No, I didn't. <laughs> what do you know about it? Asked Bill. I will show you what I know about it. Turn around. Bill said he heard a sound like a snap, as if a twig had been broken, and when he turned, the old man's head seemed to dangle from his shoulders, as if his neck were broken. The old man's head was hanging so low it could not have been a contortion act to see his head nestled quite nicely against his head. <laughs> Trembling, Phil got down from the wall. See, look what happened to me when I jumped. In terror, Phil fled the sight of his home at Toxton. Now, unsurprisingly, he had no further desire to end his life, and as time passed, he pulled himself out of his depression. But as the years passed, many other people saw this ghostly tramp. And a medium was called in. She had no prior knowledge of any of these sightings. She claimed that the spirit was one Bernie Brown, who had died in the Liverpool workhouse in the 19th century after he jumped from a window and broke his neck. <laughs> so, should you happen to be on the cathedral grounds at around uh, quarter past ten, maybe on a ghost tour, beware of burning. <laughs>